Birds, they're kind of scary. They swoop around in the sky, looking down on us, being all vicious and stuff. And while all birds are kind of scary, there are some you should be really scared of. There are some you should avoid at all costs. These are birds you should fear the most. Number 15. Lammergeier. The Lammergeier is easily one of the most dangerous animals on our list, and ironically, it's not intentional. Much like Mr. Bean has a habit of landing himself in some unintentionally hilarious misadventures, the Lammergeier has the same misfortune, only they tend to hurt more. There's a classic story about the ancient Greek playwright Aeschylus, who heard a prophecy that claimed he would be killed by a falling object. Aeschylus desperately tried to stay outside, hoping that he would not be hit by a falling object if nothing could fall. Then one day a tortoise dropped out of the sky, hit him on the head, and killed him. This sounds like kind of a weird story, yeah, I know, but the most likely reason that tortoise dropped out of the sky, the Lammergeier, because bone marrow makes up around 90% of the bird's diet. They have to find a way to break into the bones. So naturally, the best way to break a bone is to just apply some force, like for instance, dropping it from a great height. And it just so happens that the Lammergeier likes to apply this technique, technique, to tortoises too. So I guess you should really just be afraid of things falling out of the sky. It's just that the Lammergeier is kind of the reason it happens so often. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. European Herring Gull. Maybe you've heard of it, maybe you haven't, but the European herring gull is easily one of the most notorious birds on the entire continent. And boy has it earned that bad reputation. This thing has a temper. Measuring up to 26 inches long, the European herring gull is pretty big, but it doesn't look like the kind of animal that you'd go running away from. You should, though. With a wingspan of between 49 and 61 inches, the herring gull is a pretty terrifyingly big bird. And in case you haven't already heard, it hates humans. The European herring gull's reputation is almost entirely built on the fact that it just loves to attack humans and steal our food, which, to be fair, is is totally reasonable. We have much better food than birds get, but still, this little jerk is a criminal, and he gets away with it because, what, he can fly? Please. The European herring gull is one of the most notorious birds on the planet, and they will attack. And worst of all, they call in help. So what may start as a simple one-bird attack will soon turn into a scene from a Hitchcock movie. Consider this a PSA on the dangers of birds. Number 13. Harpy Eagle the Harpy Eagle is often named nature's greatest killing machine, which may sound like an exaggeration, but it really isn't. This thing is built for murder, and despite my best efforts, there is no such thing as a bird court, so we can't actually do anything about that. Again, I'm working on it, but Judge Judy has stopped replying to my emails. The Harpy Eagle is probably most well known for those terrifying talons. which are enough to scare even the most stoic of humans. The feet of a female harpy eagle are as big as a human hand, each talon tipped with terrifyingly long claws. They are, according to people who know what they're talking about, the longest talons of any eagle on Earth, at an unbelievable five inches long. Now, 
Doesn't that just make you want to hide out in some kind of underground bunker and pray for all the birds to go away? And as if that isn't terrifying enough, those talons are powered by incredibly strong, squeezing muscles so they can actually lift animals out of trees that are the same weight as them. And they don't even have to stop for a break. Honestly, Killing Machine is a pretty accurate description of this little terror. It's the bird equivalent of the Terminator. Number 12. The Barred Owl just because a bird is nocturnal doesn't mean you should stop feeding it. Sure, they only come out at night, but that just gives them an advantage. They can see what they're doing and you can't. Good luck out there, brave one. The barred owl is a large owl found all over North America, usually in forests and woodland. But there's a reason that this is a particularly frightening bird, and it has nothing to do with that weird exorcist thingy where they turn their head all the way around. In fact, the barred owl is a totally silent bird. When they fly, they don't make a noise whatsoever, making it impossible for anybody to actually prepare themselves for the inevitable attack. And believe me, if these guys get disturbed, they will attack. And no, humans are not prepared for it. When a barred owl attacks, it attacks the head, using its incredibly sharp claws to cause as much pain as it physically can. I guess what I'm saying is that models should be especially careful when wandering through the woods of North America after dark. I don't think fashion companies want models who have been mutilated by extremely quiet owls. Number 11. Hooded Pitoe it's long been a very unique trait of humans that, when a new animal is discovered, they try to eat it. Sometimes that can work out. For instance, the chicken. But more often than not, it ends up with a lot of people in a lot of pain. That's where the hooded pitoe comes in. The hooded pitoe is a medium-sized songbird found in New Guinea and is one of the few known poisonous birds. Hidden within its skin, feathers, and tissues lie a range of batrachotoxin compounds, which help deter predators and protect the bird from potentially harmful parasites. They're also pretty great at scaring off local hunters and or hungry people looking for a meal. Basically, this bird's genetics have pretty much guaranteed that it will probably never go extinct. At least, not as long as it can maintain its poisonous nature. The hood the hooded pitoe was one of the first birds to be named toxic. Before this, nobody even considered the idea that birds could somehow be poisonous, which is how we get such beloved characters as Tweety or, um, um, uh, Woody Woodpecker? I don't know, man. I'm not an expert in celebrity birds. There's only so much I know. Number 10. Ute Swan. If you've been on this channel before, you'll know the brutal truth about the mute swan. This animal is an absolute jerk. Sure, it's often described as one of the most beautiful birds in the world or, you know, whatever, but it doesn't change the simple fact that they're a pain in the butt. Mute swans are the most aggressive waterfowl species in the world. Because it really hurts. Which makes them also one of the most dangerous animals. If they happen to decide that another animal, you know, whether it's a bird or a mammal, is in the way for whatever reason, the swan is going to attack, injure, and even kill it. And all because it just felt entitled to nesting or feeding grounds. Because ultimately, that's all the swan really cares about nesting or protecting their young. And if they feel either of those things is threatened, they will lash out with all their force. I told you, swans are jerks. The world seems to have bought into the myth that swans are somehow the epitome of grace and beauty, but not me, guys. Our research tells me that swans are animals to be feared, avoided, and generally criticized whenever you get the chance. And before anybody accuses me of being mean or anti-swan, just remember, swans are jerks. I'm sorry, I'm doubling down on this one. Number 9. Northern Gannet 
Everybody already knows that Iceland is one of the most beautiful countries in the world, but I bet you didn't know that it's home to one of the most dangerous birds in the world, right? It's absolutely true. The northern gannet is one of the most intense and enthusiastic birds in the world, and it is definitely something to be feared. On the surface, it may look like the northern gannet is some adorable little guy who will show you respect and kindness, but that's just for show. These birds are basically bottomless pits constantly looking for food. And once they see something they like, good luck getting away. When it comes time to hunt, the northern gannet will dive at the water at a speed of 62 miles per hour. And thanks to their strong bodies, they don't feel the impact even a little bit. But even if you think you could somehow outrun one of these birds, it's not that simple. The northern gannet nests in colonies meaning there are never just one. What may seem like an easy escape soon turns into a group hunt. And that's, uh, well, you're kind of screwed at that point. If these things want to eat you, they're probably gonna do it, you know? Number 8. Marabou Storks how big does a bird have to be before it becomes genuinely intimidating? A few inches uh, bigger than the human hand. How about almost the size of an average American woman? That intimidating enough for you? Meet the Maribou Stork. You'll never forget it. The Maribou Stork stands between 4 and 5 feet tall on average, making them significantly larger than other birds. Oh, yeah. But their height is not the only intimidating thing about their size, they also have an impressively long wingspan, measuring about 12 feet wide from tip to tip, and a beak that protrudes out about 50 inches. So basically, it's kind of a nightmare bird. And like pretty much all birds, they tend to have a temper on them. They're actually known to lash out at just about any living things that happen to trigger their anger impulse, including humans. If a human happens to interrupt their food session, it's probably not gonna end well. We should probably also mention that the Maribou stork is capable of flying up to 13,000 feet in the air. Though it doesn't usually do this, typically the stork prefers to stay on the ground searching for food, which is why so many humans end up making a pretty terrifying enemy, one who roots through dumpsters. Be careful! Number 7. Snowy Owl We've already talked about one dangerous owl, so why not address another one? The snowy owl may not be quite as intimidating as some other birds, but they're definitely as aggressive. If provoked, of course. Actually, sometimes they can be unprovoked too. Typically, the snowy owl only gets aggressive when defending themselves, whether that's defending their territory, their family, or just themselves. They're more than willing to take on predators or unfamiliar animals if the situation calls for it. And when they have to do that, well, you better watch your face. The snowy owl tends to attack the head, preferring the dive bomb tactic, take down the human or animal that has decided to intrude. And don't think your size will make them afraid of ya. The snowy owl has been known to attack arctic wolves when the situation calls for it. They are truly fearless when they really have to be. Typically, snowy owls tend to be at their most aggressive during breeding season, but this isn't always the case. The snowy owl doesn't want to abide by your rules, man. If it feels that it's being attacked or its privacy is being intruded on, it will attack you and think nothing of it. Snowy ain't here to play, dude. I wonder how many times Harry Potter got attacked by Hedwig. Number 6. Southern Cassowary and here we have another animal that has often been named the world's most dangerous bird. But is that actually true? Well, the honest answer is, yeah, it's true. The southern cassowary is one of the more deadly birds in the world, capable of killing, uh, well, anything. What? 
The southern cassowary is a large, flightless bird native to the tropical forests of Southeast Asia and Australia. At their tallest, these huge birds can be around six and a half feet tall and weigh up to 132 pounds. That's about the equivalent of six mute swans. But what is it that makes them so dangerous? Their lower body. These guys did not skip leg day. The southern cassowary has incredibly muscular legs that can pack an intensely powerful kick. But it's not just the kick that will hurt. On the tips of their three toes lie some truly terrifying talents, measuring up to five inches. If the cassowary feels threatened or angry, it will simply strike you with one of these weapons. And I think you know what that will do to your internal organs, right? I don't really have to explain how that whole thing works. The general gist of it is that you will not be having a great fun time. Unless life in a hospital bed sounds like fun to you. Number 5. Vampire Finch it may not be your go-to vacation spot, but the Galapagos is home to a whole bunch of strange and, honestly, weird animals. But one of the most unusual of those animals, the sharp-beaked ground finch, also known as the vampire finch. I think you can see where we're going with this. The vampire finch lives on Darwin and Wolf Islands, and obviously it gets its name from some similarities to the notorious monster and since they don't wear capes or speak in obscure Transylvanian accents, it's obviously going to be to do with their diet. The vampire finch occasionally drinks the blood of Nazca, or blue-footed boobies, which... Hey, dude, come on, why are you laughing right now? We're talking birds right now? This is serious. When seeds and insects happen to be in short supply, the vampire finch is forced to turn to boobies. And, dude, seriously, what? Anyway, the vampire finch pecks at the feathers and skin until it can finally drink their blood. I don't get what's so funny about that. Honestly, any animal with vampire in the name is going to be a pretty scary little thing. It's certainly not the kind of animal that you want to be pursuing or hanging out with, you should really be headed in the wrong direction. Today, the vampire finch may just want to feed on boobies, but... Oh, I just got it. You guys are out of control. Number 4. Northern Rockhopper Penguin our planet has taken a pretty romanticized view of penguins, which is understandable. They can't fly, they're the focus of several movies and TV shows, but I'm about to shock you all when I say this. This penguin may be the devil. Okay, maybe it's not that extreme, but the northern rock hopper penguin is not only the smallest of the crested penguins, it's also the most aggressive by far. These little guys have been reported fighting over fish, nesting locations, and mating partners. To name but three, they're also known to be incredibly aggressive when it comes to their children. Any kind of invader is likely to find themselves on the unfortunate end of a hostile penguin snapping away at them. And believe me, there's nothing more terrifying than being chased by a flightless bird. Those guys are insecure as all heck. Unfortunately, the northern rockhopper penguin's population is rapidly decreasing as a result of climate change and accidental fishing, to name but two issues. So it's becoming less likely that you'll ever have the interesting experience of being chased by one of these angry little guys. I'm I'm sure you're all very sad about that. I would like to apologize, but uh, I really don't want to. Number 3. Hooded Vulture we could have populated this list with a whole bunch of vultures, and it would still be 100% accurate. But if we can only have one on our list, it would have to be the hooded vulture. While it may be among the smallest of the old world vultures, the hooded vulture is no less deadly than any other. As scavengers, these animals tend to focus exclusively on dead animals and carrion. But that doesn't mean they're not willing to attack living beings. 
In fact, the hooded vulture is much more courageous than other species, approaching humans quite often. Of course, it generally tends to be pretty shy once it reaches that point, so it's unlikely that you'll find yourself being attacked by the vulture. Still, you should be aware of the situation and not provoke it. Otherwise, you'll be a meal for a bird. And that's unfortunate. The hooded vulture may be one of the smallest of the old world vultures, but that doesn't mean that it's not an absolutely terrifying animal in its own right. In fact, it seems exactly like the kind of predator that you should be running away from. If you happen to die randomly, that guy ain't gonna call 911. Sorry to break the news to you, that's one cold-blooded vulture. Number 2. Emu as the second largest bird in the world, it should not be a surprise to discover that the emu is also one of the most dangerous. As we've already established, there's something truly terrifying about flightless birds. And when they can run this fast... You should be afraid, very afraid. Emus are capable of running at speeds of up to 30 miles per hour, and they have the power to make you hurt. If they feel cornered or otherwise unsafe, the emus will use their three-toed feet to kick, and that can be incredibly painful. In fact, reports of emu attacks are more common than you'd think, resulting in a range of injuries in Australia and parks, farms, and zoos all over the world. In 2009 alone, there were over a hundred reports of serious injuries caused by an emu. So let that be a lesson to those of you who have an inexplicable desire to ride an emu. If you happen to encounter an emu during the courtship season, you'll likely discover that the female emu is more aggressive than the male. Because the species is known to fight for access to mates, it's not uncommon to see a female willing to kick the bejesus out of anybody she happens to see, including unfortunate Australians out for a stroll. They are not emu -sd. Thank you. Number 1. Australian Magpie Magpies alone do not have a great reputation. Actually, they have a terrible reputation, mostly because they seem to love attacking just about any animal they happen to encounter. It's like a bird-based fight club, but nobody can talk about it because everybody is a part of it, and they don't know it exists. The Australian magpie, however, is something else. A real piece of work. There's only one goal in life for this animal. Protect the nest and make sure everybody knows knows it. And that is certainly something they're working on, because the Australian magpie lives in residential areas. It's the unsuspecting Aussie residents who really suffer. For many, an otherwise typical walk around the neighborhood could turn into an emergency trip to the hospital. In fact, most Australian magpie attacks target pedestrians or cyclists. To get even more specific, the ideal target is a small young person traveling alone on a bike. Good luck out there, kids. Some cyclists have taken action of their own to try and deal with these violent pests. Helmets with spikes, a flagpole on the back of the bike, wearing sunglasses on the back of the head, you know, all the classics, and apparently it all works. Have you ever encountered any of these birds, or have you had some terrifying encounters with one not on our list? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.